Do you remember when I told you in the introduction video this channel was specially dedicated, aimed to those who without having the resources wanted to have an impressive body without risking their health? For the next videos, I'll show you how to train with common objects found everywhere and I'll myself perform exercises and teach you the needed routines. Well, let's go on with it. Hi there, this is your Entrenador Enmascarado, natural bodybuilding for any pocket. We're publishing this video series as a contribution for those who are staying home, those who are just waiting to go back to the gym or to begin it, and they want to keep fit in the meantime. But before that, if you want to follow the complete series of training at home, you can click here or you can click on the name of the channel, Entrenador Enmascarado, and get into the playlist named Training at Home. Let's get on with it. First, what is it I don't have? I don't have enough room. I just have this little room. but there are things I can move to make more space. And now, we have a little more room, at least to lay down on the floor, perform some push-ups. I can put, ah, I don't have a barbell either. Hmm. I don't have weights. And, uh, nope. I think um, my resources are a little short to buy them. Buying equipment uh, will be later on, but I have an idea. I have a barbell. Um, could I get another one? Just a second. <laughs> a longer barbell. Yes, sir. I already have a barbell, but I don't have a, any weight. Oh, I can make cement ones that, no, making them from cement, uh, no. I've got another idea. Ha <laughs> ha, now I've got weights. Don't you believe me? I've got some eight pounds and a little bit more weights. Let's prepare them. We have to remember, first thing, is to rinse it. We don't want anybody in our family get us out of home because of a stinky container. Next, we fill our gallon with water completely. Each gallon has around 8.35, 8.33 pounds and that's what is going to be useful for us. We've got some of them already prepared. This is only for you to know how we do it. Vamos allá! 
Well, we already have weights. We have four weights of around eight pounds, more or less. But I don't have dumbbells. Um, but these can be my dumbbells too. <laughs> yes, sir. There's something wrong in here. As we all can see, the handler is a little short. Then, when I get my fingers into it, it can injure my hand because my four fingers don't fit in. We should be using th only three fingers and it can be very difficult. But I think we all have a solution to this problem. Let's see. Just a second. <laughs> Let me show you. These containers are different from the other ones. As you can see, the handler is a little bigger. Not a big difference, but a significant one. It even has a little space to take the index finger inside. This allow me to handle it easily. I've got dumbbells. I've got dumbbells. I've got dumbbells. Let's see. I've got dumbbells. I've got dumbbells. I've got dumbbells. I got dumbbells. I got dumbbells. Yes, sir. But they are a little heavy to warm up. It's better to warm up with uh, another lighter ones. Just a sec. Some smaller dumbbells with the same grip. I have dumbbells to warm up. Simple, easy. They are too light to do exercises, but to warm up, yes, they are fine. Now, let's see how we use our barbell and dumbbells. Vamos allá. How to use our barbells with our weights. It's very easy. I think you've get it already but we're gonna do it anyway. We just pass our barbell through the handlers of our water containers. What can we do with it? Ho ho ho, why not? We can do military press. We can do Standing press, excuse me, standing barbell row, standing barbell row, we can do incline barbell row, incline barbell row, incline barbell row. Well, we can add more weight, of course. Let's check out our second barbell. Let's see, we check out our second barbell. Now we need a little more balance. That's why we place one container in one way and the other the contrary. And now, <laughs> let's get prepared because we are gonna do legs, squats. Get down, get up. Get down, get up. And now, front squat. Down and up. Down and up.
Before giving you the routine, we had to talk about something very important, safety. This broomstick, this low budget barbell, as you can see, it doesn't take hold of our containers, of our low budget weights, it is slips, and that's dangerous. We can get injured. What can we do when we don't have enough resources to buy a safety collar? Well, we're not gonna have a high-tech safety collar, but we're gonna have something that doesn't allow the, our weight to slip as easily. I'll show you now. Vamos allá. To make our safety collars, we'll need the following materials. A knife, sharpened and with a pointed end if possible, and plastic caps from containers or gallons that we are not using, of course. We really need them to be flexible. Flexible. Why? Because if not, if they are too hard, something can happen to you, like this. Because if they are hard like this, we are gonna have something like what happened to me. Just beginning making our safety quarters, they'll break. Did you take notice? Did you see it? They're gonna break. They can't be useful, but these can be useful. Among these caps, there are some better than others. If we could get some like this, this one has a kind of rubber inside. They won't slide off the stick, or they would slide off less than the plain ones. Can you see it? These will slide off more these ones will slide off less. How do we do it? We make a crust cut. Easy and simple. A crust cut, just in the middle. We must always point the edge of the knife outwards. Not to our hands, not to our finger. We press, first breaking, then opening the cap. We do it again, we open. We do the same, doing, as I have told you before, a cut, a cross cut. Good, good, well, sometimes it get a little bit difficult, but at the end, we got it. Very well, very well. And now, we've got what we need for them to get tied to our low-budget barbell. Let's show it at once. We press and... ta -da! And here we have it. A collar. A low-budget safety collar. But functional. Vamos allá. Perfect. We've got everything ready. We've got our barbells, we got our weights, and we got our dumbbells. As I have told you before, this is the routine. In this first part, we're gonna work arms, every muscle, the back, now our shoulders, together with the traps. There are several ways to do this routine, mainly two ways. The first one, 
you see is uh, we have jumping jack. As you can see in the routine that we have made it a written before beginning everything. Then we begin exercising with the uh, shoulders and the traps. We follow the back and then we get to the arms. As I have told you, there are two ways to do it. First, for those who begin, those who has never been to a gym before, or those who have been a long time out of the gym. In this case, we do 10 reps. Then we have 30 seconds to a minute of rest, and then we do the next exercise. On the other hand, number two, for those who have been more time in the gym, uh, for those who need to work harder, we need more intensity than the beginner. Of course, we need to do first our warm-ups. Two sets of jumping jacks is enough. 10 reps, perfect. And then we do each exercise without interruption, one after another. 10 reps of each one one after another now we can begin let's get into business very well warm up jumping jacks 10 yeah. Yeah. jumping yeah. jacks again 10 more Rest a little bit, we can do one more set. With two, it's enough, but uh, we can do a little bit more. We are gonna do a little bit more. The thing is to activate blood flow that we start breathing harder and ligaments fill with blood. Warming up will be finished when we end up our exercises with our low consumption, uh, low poor performance. How was it? <laughs> oh my God. Low budget way. <laughs> okay. Jumping jacks. Third set. Now with me. Very well. Let's go to our weights. Military barbell yeah. press. 10 reps. We're still yeah. warming up. Yeah. 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 Let's yeah. change. Now, standing yeah. barbell roll. Barbell roll to the neck. Yeah. 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 We are now using yeah. our smaller dumbbells in double lateral raise. Why are we using these small dumbbells? Our low budget small dumbbells. Because we are in the beginning. We are just warming up. We are making the blood flow. Now, bend over dumbbell lateral raises.
very well. Yeah. Now let's go to the back. Bent over barbell roll. Yeah. case our low budget dumbbells of course how do we do it we're gonna do the same move that we do with a lat pull down machine in the gym we must think that we are pulling down the bars on the machine but we do it with our low budget dumbbells let's get them up and we have to make an effort with our back we must be aware of it we must tuck our bellies in put up the chest tighten our back muscles and then feel the pull feel the pull that's it that's it really slow really slow think of your of your back the chest must not get down very well biceps with our barbell we can change our grip close to the legs or wider there's no problem with that. Thing yeah. is that we keep the balance. Alternating dumbbell calls. triceps overhead triceps extension We go on with triceps. Now I'm gonna introduce you an old friend, a little rickety, but she's gonna help us with tricep steps anyway. Our chair. It's a metal chair. As I have told you, it's a little bit old. Anyway, she's gonna help us our exercises. Triceps dips. We must place our hands in our backs, taking the chair on the outside edge or in the inside edge. And we put just our heels on the floor. The tip of our feet must be pointing up. I'm gonna do it slowly. Get out of the chair and bend your knees. Our body weight must be on our arms. And then we begin.
Oh, how nice, how cool. Yeah. Let's go on. Yeah. We grab our small yeah. dumbbells again. And now we're going to yeah. forearms. For this, yeah. we get our arms yeah. down. And then, we make yeah. a movement to the outside and to the inside. To the yeah. outside and inside. In and out, yeah. right? Every time we get in, we count. Yeah. One. We finished our routine, yeah. the first phase. We're gonna make exactly yeah. the same, exactly the same. Just bringing the weight up. Remember that these ones were warming ups. Vamos allá. Well, we've changed the weights and the dumbbells. Now, we're getting into real business. Just follow me. Now you know the name of the exercises. Then, we'll try to make it in only one shot if I don't make any mistake. If I do it, well, we will have to cut a little bit. Let's get it on. Let's begin. dumbbells yeah. well yeah. lateral dumbbell raises yeah. 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 incline dumbbell raises Well, incline yeah. barber roll. Biceps.
the chair. Yeah. Yeah. I have changed the grip. Forearms. second set. Remember, we've done everything, every exercise, one after another. That's why your entrenador mascarado is very hot. You must get this thing out uh, to get in a better position. I'm sorry to show you this down the hill body, but I know that together we can change it. Vamos ya! Over the head, shoulder press. Standing barber roll. Lateral raises. Bend over dumbbell raise. over rows. Yeah. Now we'll use inverted grip. Biceps curl. And it goes. the dumbbells. Yeah. 
dumbbell triceps extension. chair That's it, my friends. We've ended our routine for back, shoulders, traps, and arms. Have a nice day. Que les vaya bonito. You must take this thing out to be better off. I'm sorry to show you this down the hill body, but I know that together we can change it. Let's go. Over the head, shoulder press. <laughs> 